capacity calls. Okay, so now I have these two packages. I'm going to go, I'm going to log out of this version of Sugar. And I'm going to log into a new version of Sugar. So I can guess the password. So before we were using Sugar 6.4, we are now using Sugar 6.5. And I am going to go to Admin. And I am going to do a module loader. And the first thing I'm going to load is our um, package that was our demonstration package. I'm going to upload this. And remember what it's doing, and I'll upload the other one from here. Um, all it's doing is deploying the module, not any data. So I'm going to install the demonstration package and accept the agreement. And as part of this, it also does a repair and rebuild after it has done the install. So it takes it a little bit to go through and repair and rebuild all of Sugar. That's good. That's a good opportunity to hit you with uh, some questions. <clears throat> oh, look at that. It's already done. Okay. Um, so basically, so, you can upload the two zip files time. first. You have to, well, I can do it in any manner. Mm -hmm. Then you install... So I install, I have to actually install the, the modules from uh, Module Builder first. So I should see here's my issues. So I look at the issue here. It is this default screen. So I haven't applied any customization. So if I say create an issue, this will be the default screen as it came out of um, when I first created a module builder. So here's my test field. So has my relationship to leads, and the test field is above the subject. So now I'll go back and apply my customization. I'll go back to module loader, and I will install the custom version. And again, it applies it, and it will. Um, install any custom fields that there were, and then do a repair and rebuild on the whole system. Okay. And you'll see that the two items have been installed. So I have demonstration and I have my uh, issue custom. And it tells me what time they were installed. And if I go to my issues, this time, I create an issue. Okay. The test field is in the right place. I have my work log. I have a studio field. Those are all the fields that I leads are in here. Yeah. Adam. All right, so I've created a new version for Studio Field, all my customizations. I can go look at the lead of Adam, and I should be able to find um, that there's a, a My Issues panel. There's a My Issues panel that's tied to you. Um, and that's pretty much all there is to taking something that was in Module Builder. You have to, you have to um, deploy it so that you get the zip file. You install that zip file into your new version of Sugar. And then any customizations you export out of Studio and import those into Sugar. So that then changes, adds all the custom fields and all of that type of stuff. So if you'd like, we can look at um, what it's actually doing. 
and I have to share another screen. So hold on here. I'll share my whole desktop. So you can now see I have these two zip files. I'll look at the custom zip file first. And what it did was it created a manifest. And we'll look at the manifest. And it goes through and says, this is the version of sugar that it says it's acceptable for, even though I installed it in a different one. Um, the flavor of sugar, enterprise. And here's the comments when I, when I created it, is it, are in here. Any custom languages, it creates a language definition for each language file. So here's information for each language. Skip past all 25 languages, 26 languages. And it tells us here's this custom field that it's going to install. That's what we actually did inside a studio. And it added um, a field called studio field with a label studio field. And then it's going to copy all the files that have changed. So it's, it's copying the detail view, um, the edit view, um, let's see, and then a bunch of language information so that it knows how to deal with my um, field that I called studio field, and then any other customizations that have occurred. And when you load it through the module loader, it loads each of the different items. So it actually has in the file system each of the files that it's going to copy. And so here's where the, this is actually where it's going to copy them to. So it's going to copy them to the custom extension modules demo issue extension language directory. And then it's also going to have some var defs that I have. And then it has the individual modules that I have. So I have modules, custom modules, and then here's my metadata that it has changed. So it basically copies all the information from a zip file and puts them into correct places inside of Sugar. And then there's a repair and rebuild, and it's all complete. OK, does that all make sense? Mm -hmm. Yep, it all makes sense. Um one question, can we compare um, looking at the relationships between the source and the destination of your two uh, sugar versions? Because that's what that I noticed. Uh, okay, yesterday no, when I did the, um, yeah, if we look at, at in studio, <coughs> at my module and the relationship, relationships. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. This is the the way it's listed. Right. <clears throat> um, was it me or when you when you first created this? Um, it was many to one. Building. Yes. It was I created as a one to many. I created as a one to many. And now I see it's it's many to many at the destination. And that is probably not correct if I went and looked at the actual file. So let's go back to the file system. And we have to go back here. We're actually going to open this one because this one has the relationships. 